The Brown County Fair is underway in De Pere. The fair feature is fun for the whole family, and a fan favorite has to be the pig racing. Today, Wisconsin weekend meteorologist Doug Higgins joins us now, live from the fairgrounds. Good morning, Doug. Uh, good morning, Pete and Angela. Yeah, we're getting ready for pig race, and joining me right now, we got Waylon Zerinsky, and. Uh, Wow, we're racing, and, and this is kind of a, a tradition at the fair is the pig racing. And uh, you've been you've been with this area on and off racing the pigs. What do you think about it? Uh, it's a pretty good show. We got a pretty good crowd here. The kids really get into it. Um, seems to be something the family likes to come back and enjoy every year. A crowd pleaser, absolutely. Now we've got the the pigs in the chute, and they actually pretty much walked into the chutes. They're pretty much used to this, right? Right. Yeah, they're. They're trained pretty well. They they all know what they're doing, and you know they they go in their chute, they run around the track, and they go right back to their pens. Sometimes they have some confusion, but most of the time, and it's most of the time, the key is pigs. While they like a lot of food, it's the Oreo that really attracts them, and that's kind of what they train them on. Well, you want to get this thing started and give give people a taste of what it's yeah, like? Yeah. All right. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna actually get to be able to release the pigs from the start. I gotta make sure this is up. All right, piggies, are you ready? The cookie's down. The track is clear. The pigs are ready. And they're off. early lead. But around the corner, you got two smoky link lead. Number three is he snorts and hogger. Followed up by Miss Piggy, Kermit the Hog. Number Ooh, three to the plate. Ah. And number three, snorts and hogger gets the cookie. Pretty good run, Tom. Run for the men's team. Now... That pig that just won kind of has a size advantage over the others. Makes them a little bit quicker, maybe, huh? Well, sometimes the bigger ones are the slow ones. It, I guess it just depends on their mood and the time. It does. Okay, tell us real quickly, how do you train these pigs to actually go around the track? It is with the cookies, but how do you do it? Um, we start, we, we give them a treat here, we put them in the gate, we run them around, they have a treat here. We run them in their pen, we give them a treat there, and then we just do it repeatedly. So you're actually getting some exercise with the pigs, trying to get them to move along to kind of, you know, get the feel for the track. Yeah, we we got to stay right behind them, keep them going so that they realize what they're doing. And, and how long does it take to train a pig to get, to get, to get race ready? <laughs> It's a pretty fast process, you know, but we'll do it a couple hours here and then a couple hours a little later, you know, we a couple hours for a few times. All right, and then they'll get it. Awesome. Uh, how many times can we experience the race during the fair here? Five times a day. Five times a day. Any specific, like, top of the hour or something? Um, I know our first race of the day... It's kind of changes. Today it's 11. Our last race is always at 9 p.m. At 9 p.m.? Awesome. So if you want to check out the big races, come on down and do it. They're... Uh, they're noisy little critters, I'll tell you that right now. But they're awake, and if you're not awake already from the noise the pigs are making, well, I don't know. You need to see a doctor maybe or something like that. So, Pete and Angela, we're having fun out here at the Brown County Fair. Wee!